G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines at Queenscliff down south of Melbourne in Victoria. We've come in just after Whitley have had their uh, on-water boat show down here at the marina. It's a beautiful part of the war world. The water's crystal clear and I'm in one of the Whitley CW1950s which is part of the affordable range of Whitley's that they're making at the moment that can satisfy both the family and the fishermen. This one's powered by a 115 horsepower Yamaha motor and uh, Alan Whitley, come on board through this lovely uh, walkthrough transom and uh, tell us a little bit about the hull because you You've had a lot of people through these boats in the last few days and uh, how is the feedback about being able to get into the boat on the water? It's a pretty unique experience, isn't it? Yeah, like obviously what you can see there, this is the original John Savage Maker hull, so it's a proven hull. Um, we've obviously made a few changes to it based on um, what the consumer wants and, and, and feed, fishing, fishing feedback. Um, main thing is obviously we've increased the width of it quite a little bit. Um, but we've also put these moulded in rear pods which you'll see us out on the water. Create a lot of stability at rest, nice walk through rear transom, that's always been a big thing with the original um, CW range was access into the back of the boat, we've obviously improved that. It's got the folding rear um, engine outboard well that folds down so it's got a nice flat transom so you can maximise your fishing room in the back which a lot of the competition don't have. So yeah, looking forward to getting on the water down here at Queenscliff and having some fun, Steve. Yeah, well, look, we're going to go and, and take some stats on this boat out on the water, but but my initial impressions are um, what a beautiful laid-out boat and what a beautiful deck. You do all the routing for the sea deck yourself in-house. Yep, yep, and it's um, obviously standard with all the rubber flooring, which is fantastic. Um, you've got two eskies in there as well. Um, so just yeah, just a great little package for under that sort of uh, 60 grand mark you get on the water uh, with an outboard, Yamaha outboard, four stroke and a, and a McKay trailer, so it's good value. Now one of the things that, uh, that I hear at boat shows is the, the, the decision maker in the house isn't the man, it's the wife and kids and you've got to have a boat which is kid friendly, family friendly as well as fishing friendly and Whitley seems to hit the nail on the head time after time. 100%, it's so important. I think my grandfather used to say to me that I've never sold a boat to a man in my whole life, it's always a woman and I guess that really uh, reigns, reigns true across our, our wide range of boats that we build today. Um, now this sort of boat, um, it's the small. It's 19 and a half feet, obviously. Yep, um, towable by the the normal, like the twin cab four wheel drive. 100. percent So it's on a nice dual axle McKay trailer, full drive on drive off trailer. It's got front and rear straps. So it's got everything ready to go. Um, it's not a roller trailer. It's on skids, so it's a really high quality thing. Get on and off the trailer quite easily. You're around sort of 1500 kilo mark, so you're not too heavy. Uh, fits in most people's garages. Obviously the canopy folds down, which is a big thing, so it'll fit in most people's garages. Um, but yeah, only a little boat to tow around, which is which is great. A good step into boating. I guess obviously you've got the, the CW 1650 below this model, uh, a little bit, little bit more affordable and that sort of stuff. But this is, I guess, the the first step into a bigger boat. You know, a bit more com capacity to go offshore and chase some tuna and, and marlin and that sort of stuff. And it's sort of the stepping stone into into that sort of style of boating. Well, that's what we like doing at Fishing Monthly. We like putting these boats on the water and getting out and bringing back you some of the performance statistics. Well, what a fantastic day on the water to test the Whitley CW1950. Indeed, it was too good a day to do any proper rough water testing on this boat. I don't know if the southern part of Port Phillip Bay is always like this. I hear it's not, but uh, it was an immaculate day on the water. And as you can see by some of this uh, footage we're running as cutaway at the moment, um, a great day to experience what southern Port Phillip Bay has to offer. Um, this boat powered by the Yamaha F115 four-stroke outboard, a very popular platform. It's on thousands of boats all across Australia and of course it didn't uh, fail to, uh, to 
impress us. Um, top speed at 5,900 RPM was 60 kilometres an hour. So it isn't a real rocket ship. It burned 1.5 kilometres you got per litre of fuel burnt uh, at that speed. Um, the most economical speed we found was around 4,500 RPM. It travelled 43 kilometres an hour, but you got 2.2 kilometres for every litre of fuel burnt. And that's typical of those frugal, reliable, efficient Yamahas. Um, like all Whitleys, I'm impressed by the high gunnels that these boats have. When you take them offshore, as you inevitably will, um, they're a very comfortable boat to fish from. The gunnel's all padded, there's room underneath for your toes, and it's a very safe feeling boat when you fish out of it. Um, the highlight of this hull, I suppose, though, is that moulded in pods. This is an old, uh, an old Savage hull, Alan tells me, uh, but it's been modified with a little bit more width, and those pods, instead of just being two fibreglass little duckboards that are bolted on the back of the boat, these are actually integral in the hull, so they carry a little bit more buoyancy in the back and they add to that inherent stability of the boat. Of course the Whitleys have a typically quite a deep V in them to give them that seaworthiness, those air-filled pods give it that stability that helps um, make that compromise uh, uh, great when you're out on the water and in fact we found the boat to be quite stable on the water. Not as stable as a flat aluminium punt but definitely not as unstable as a very deep V'd narrow skinny ocean going vessel. Um, so a great compromise I believe. Um, the walk through transom doors a nice little touch as is all of the, uh, the custom routed sea deck which is in all the Whitleys nowadays. In fact it seems like it's nearly mandatory nowadays to have some great looking um, rubber matting in your boat which is easy to clean and uh, definitely looks the part. So that's standard in the boat as well. Um, so the 115 um, totally capable of pushing this boat around. It can handle more horsepower than this um, but you know for 2.2 kilometres per litre burn the economy is great and it helps keep that overall purchase price down. So this boat on a trailer, on a McKay trailer $58,990 so for a 19 and a half foot boat that's right in the ballpark for people that want to get in to that Whitley family and that Whitley name. Of course, all Whitleys made down here in Melbourne. Um, Facebook, like them at Whitley, just the word Whitley, uh, or on the web you can go to whitleymarinegroup.com.au. There's a new feature on there where you can do a virtual tour of the boat, build your own boat up, get all the option pricing and even get finance pricing on there. So you can do all of that background homework without actually having to talk to a salesman and when you walk in the door and want to make your purchase, you know, as much as that guy does uh, that wants to take your money. Uh, there are seven Whitley dealers all over Australia or in fact if you want to drop into the Whitley factory they're very happy to take you around show you where these boats are built uh, and then refer you to a local dealer in your state. Uh, but until next time this is Steve Morgan checking out from a very tropical southern Port Phillip Bay.